we are live. You already know who it is. My name is Mike Kyle, a.k.a. the Fantasy Vulture. I have over a decade worth of fantasy football experience and have continuously competed for fantasy championships over the course of the past six seasons. Let's make it seven in 2020. But enough of me. I'm here for you. On today's episode of the FV Show, we are going to go right into our Week 12 game recaps, breaking down every single Week 12 matchup all through the lens of fantasy football. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to hit that like button down below like an open receiver downfield. Also, smash that subscribe button like a power running back up the middle so you never miss a video from me. And last but not least, you can follow me on all social media platforms at FFVulture. The content I am going to be producing on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok over the course of the next five weeks is going to be astronomical, and I'm so excited to share what I have in store for all of you guys as we approach the playoffs and, of course, championship season, which I hope as many of you win championships this year as physically possible. But let's dive right into Week 12. The Chargers lose in a heartbreaker? In a miscommunication, in a very poor clock management. Anyways, they lose to Buffalo by a final score of 27 to 17. The Bills are 8 and 3 and currently leading the AFC East, and the Chargers fall to 3 and 8. Justin Herbert, the shoe kind of dropped here uh, 31 of 52 which again, they just let him throw the ball as many times as he wants, which is so cool for a rookie. 316 passing yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Austin Eckler, I didn't think he was going to play this week. Uh, he was activated off the IR early Sunday morning, and if you follow me on Twitter, I said Austin Eckler is up. It looked like Kalen Balazs was going to be inactive, and that meant that they had full confidence in Eckler to give him the workload and boy, did they. 14 carries, 16 targets, caught 11 of them for 129 total yards in Eckler's first game back since week four. It was great for my fantasy lineup, for your fantasy lineup, if you were able to withstand the absence of Austin Eckler since week four. All right. We're not done yet, though. We still got Keenan Allen, who had 10 targets, caught four of them for 40 yards and a touchdown. And Hunter Henry continues to get it done. Also had 10 targets, caught seven of them for 67 yards. On the other side, with the Bills, Josh Allen was 18 of 24 for 157 yards, two touchdowns, and two turnovers. Stephon Diggs, nine targets, seven receptions for 39 yards. And Cole Beasley had four targets, two receptions, 25 receiving yards, had 20 pass yards and a passing touchdown on a little trick play. So if you did start Cole Beasley, you weren't hurt because of that little trickery from Buffalo. Also important to note here, Devin Singletary had 14 touches and Zach Moss had 12. I believe they finished almost equal. Yeah, they were pretty yeah, they were important. They were in 0.9 points of differential between the two of them. Singletary had the better game, but still you probably aren't starting either of these Buffalo running backs unless you are absolutely desperate. All right, let's talk about this just a little bit more. So, a few notes here. Austin Eckler being back changes a lot. Um, we know that Justin Herbert has the ability to not only throw it deep, but also the willingness to check down as well. And that's a very weird combination, right? It's not very often we see guys with a nuclear cannon uh, also be willing to check it down as well. So we do get that nice little dynamic balance between the two. We know that he targets Keenan Allen like hell. We've seen him now target Austin Eckler multiple times like crazy too. Um, I'm really excited about Eckler going forward. And again, if you were able to survive having Eckler on your IR for that long, you are going to be rewarded. His upcoming schedule, New England, Atlanta, Vegas, Denver, KC. That's a beautiful schedule for Austin Eckler rest of season. And honestly, that's a beautiful schedule for the Chargers. Uh, yes, Herbert didn't play great, but he still turned in about 16 fantasy points for you. That's not the that that's not the custom 25 that we're used to getting, right? Uh, but 16 points is not going to hurt you uh, in any way. Uh, Josh Kelly vultured a touchdown from Eckler, so we are back to that. That is something to note as well. Uh, they just have this tendency to where 
if Eckler doesn't get in the first time, Josh Kelly comes in and punches it in. Uh, but luckily enough, Eckler does have that PPR floor that Josh Kelly does not have. So it does kind of make up for it. We would love to see the touchdown go Eckler's way, but that isn't always the case. Mike Williams, you got the dud Mike Williams game. Uh, it happens. Last week, you got the good one. The week before that, you had a dud. And the week before that, you got a good one. So you are kind of just spinning the wheel on Mike Williams every single week. The talent is there, and it really is just a matter of risk management. How much risk are you willing to take? For Mike Williams, honestly, my risk management, I'm pretty high on it. Like, if I, if I have him... I am more likely than not going to try and find a way to play him. More so as a flex than a wide receiver too, just because I know the talent and the upside is there. I know that I know that Herbert's willing to air it out 40 yards downfield for a potential touchdown. Hunter Henry is great. Not not much to add there. And then again, uh, for Buffalo, like it's, it's it's the same stories every single week. It's Josh Allen is very very good. Uh, it's Stephon Diggs is great down week for him. It is what it is. And then Singletary and Moss. I want to play Moss over Singletary, uh, but I really don't want to play either of them if I have the option to pivot away. And that's it for this game. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below, like an open receiver downfield. Also smash that subscribe button, like a power running back up the middle. So you never miss a video from me. Last but not least, you can follow me on all social media platforms at FF Vulture. Again, the content that is going to be coming out is insane i'm so excited to show you guys what i have in store and last but not least remember people come and go but fantasy championships are forever and i will see you in the next video